This electric shaver I bought online kind of looks like a gyroscope, right? Check out these work pants I just bought. I'm wearing them for the first time today. Look at the inside. How's the quality, you think? Check this out. I snagged this for just 9.9 .9 yuan. I just bought these shoes. They're pretty soft. But after a few steps, there's particles all over the floor. What kind of shoes are these? These two shower heads I bought online are terrifying. I thought I got Cobras. Here's the shoe washing machine I got during the double eleven sale. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's up with this electric toothbrush I bought online? I owe you <laughs>I bought a pair, and they sent me four. How do you figure that? Are they real or fake? See, for pairs? Are these jeans made of paper or what? How about these? <laughs> I went out fine this morning, but look at these pants now. I bought it online. The seller said not for 390, not for 290, but just 99 yuan. Boom, look at this quality. Wow, I've always dreamed of owning a pair like this, so exquisite. Does anyone know which AJ model this is? Look at these stitches, this Jumpman logo. Wait, that doesn't look like Jordan. What brand is this? China, already recognized as a hub for imitation products, witnesses its market inundated with various fake goods. The surge in online shopping has further expanded the market for these counterfeits. From the early days of the online e-commerce giant Taobao to the low-priced champion Ping Du Du, and now with TikTok entering the online shopping arena. All platforms are rife with counterfeit and inferior products, leading to common shopping mishaps for almost everyone who has ventured into online shopping. Double Eleven not only celebrates a festival of fake goods and inferior products but also serves as a breeding ground for shopping scams. Look these sweet potatoes I bought from a Douyin livestream. The host was like, folks not for 99.9, .9, not for 69.9, .9, not for 49.9, .9, but just for 29.9 .9 today. You can't fake me out with crabs, right? I bought 2.5 kilograms of large mitten crabs, they're indeed heavy. Wow, a scam. Only one. And it's fake. Reset. 1 plus 1 equals 3. China's e-commerce has long been plagued by product quality issues, with low entry barriers and high user traffic contributing to the proliferation of fake goods. The allure of high profits, low costs, ridiculously low prices, and unrestrained promotions becomes the primary selling point for these knockoff products. The rise of new online shopping methods, such as selling overseas and proxy buying, further contributes to the spread of fakes on social platforms like WeChat, TikTok, and QQ, which have gradually become channels for the circulation of counterfeit goods compared to physical stores. Aside of counterfeit and substandard products, there are almost unusable or deemed as a junk that's selling online. How am I supposed to boil water with this kind of kettle? Look, this is the charger I got during double eleven. The Type-C port is in, but how do I plug this end into my phone? Is it a charger for a charger? To that guy selling car horns online, I got your product and installed it. Listen to this. Every year on March 15th, Consumer Rights Day sees the Chinese government symbolically cracking down on counterfeits. 
In 2018, the China Consumer Association released a notice exposing a list of counterfeit goods sold during 2017, affecting the top 10 Chinese online shopping platforms, including Taobao, Gom, JD.com, Pingdudu, Netis, Cola, and others. Among the most affected areas were cosmetics and skincare, with 8 out of 19 samples investigated suspected of being counterfeits, resulting in a staggering fake rate of 40%. Even international brands like Shiseido and Estee Lauder had no genuine products, they were all fake. Chinese e-commerce appears highly abnormal, growing malignantly in a certain direction without order, eventually harming the entire economy. This kind of e-commerce fails to promote balanced development across various industries, create value, or generate new growth points. Instead, it devours other shares of the market, leading to a collective demise in the end.